Gentlemen, warriors. We'll see who's left standing and who's on their knees. How much thought did you give to the backstories for your characters? Did you have talks with Riza about that? Riza, Riza had a very um, detailed vision for every character, you know. And um, so for, for me, for instance, I, you know, when I got to the set, I asked him a lot of questions about the backstory because I had to understand the relationship between all these characters, especially because we're all clan related, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely there was a, da a backstory that was fed to us and, you know, and I added more to it and, you know, the result is what you saw in the movie. I think they're great characters because they're very complicated, you know, especially for kind of a kung fu movie. I think the characters are really rich. What did you specifically like about each of your characters? Well, I, I like the fact that Riza told me he wanted to see the heart of this guy. Mm -hmm. And that's an interesting way to approach uh, a character that is in an action movie. Uh, and I think a lot of great action films have a lot of empathy to them because you can empathize with the, the, the lead heroes. And it, it, it was pretty interesting because you, you have this old world, you know, feudal China with a, sort of a modern sensibility to it, which Riza put into it. Is there a particular fight scene that you especially enjoyed? Because there are some really great ones in this movie. I really liked the um, um, Gemini scene, uh -huh. the Gemini killers in the, in the middle of the movie. That was an incredible fight. Quentin um, said he was actually intimidated by that scene. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. which is a compliment. Oh. Yeah. I actually, my favorite was with Lucy Liu, so, uh -huh. um, you know, just to get to work with her. Um, and you all got to work with Riza as he was acting and directing. Um, what are the differences when he's wearing two hats like that? He's got that on and off switch. Yeah. When he's a director, he's on. Mm -hmm. When he's just, you know, just hanging out, he's off. And he, when he's an actor, he's on again. It's like switching on and off. It's pretty cool to see. And since this was his directorial debut, how would you describe him as a director? He has an amazing ability. Uh, I've known him for eight years, so I've seen him. And, and, and how he deals with people, and, and he has an amazing ability, he's a genius actually, to draw the best out of people mm -hmm. um, and bring people together that probably would never be in the same room together, but you know, bring them together and create something in unison. And he did that with Wu-Tang Clan, did that with Iron Fist. Bruce is a really open artist. He's an artist to begin with, and, but he's very open to ideas. So that's really important when you start directing a film because you know, when you have strong actors like we have in this film, we have ideas, right? So it, he incorporated a lot of them and, you know, it's, the end result has been fantastic.